guys, uh, hello. Today is November 8th, and it's a Thursday. And for once today, I actually have something serious to talk about. So, um, a few days ago, well, it's been continuing for a few days now, but we've been reading this book at school called Scar, and it's about a girl who does herself to make herself feel better. And, well, a couple of jerks in my class have been watching it. They've been really making fun of it, and they're all like, oh, she's emo, does she listen to my chemical romance? Because that would mean she's emo, and shit like that. And it's just really fucking stupid. And, well, it got me thinking about all those people going to my school and how ignorant they were. But then I also started thinking about all those people who didn't say anything to me. Because, well, I got really pissed off about it, so I kind of yelled at them. And I kind of realized that no one else was saying anything. And, well, it's like everyone knows they're being ignorant, it's just they don't want to say anything because, well, Honestly, I have no idea. I, would, I don't understand why anyone would like, let someone get away with ignorance. Because just re reinforcing stereotypes like that is like totally wrong. You know? Like, why would you do that? Like, honestly, I don't, I, I don't understand why anyone would reinforce stereotypes. Because it's not that funny. And the whole emo, like, the whole emo, like, oh, cut your wrist and shit like that, it's getting kind of old. Like, we should seriously get the fuck over it. Like, no one finds it funny anymore. And then, like, it's just, they're being really stupid about it, and it got me thinking about all those people at school. And, like, how if you just act one way, or if you have one thing done, they immediately have to put a label on you. It's like, they can't stand the fact that, that, that you, like, that you're something else, that you're something different. They just can't stand it, so they have to, like, label you something. Like, at school, I'm called an emo all the time. Like, I don't understand why I'm called an emo. Like, okay, whatever, like, haircut, oh, big deal, like... Who gives a shit, you know? Like, it doesn't mean that you cut yourself just because you have a certain hair. They need to get the fuck over it. Like, it's not even that funny. It just started out because a bunch of people were just being ignorant. And now people don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. And they're always giving stupid labels to all these people. It's like, if you want to label someone, then go ahead and label them. But, like, don't, like, immediately think that you know them just because of all the stereotypes that come with them. It doesn't mean that that person's that way. Like, my sister, she, like, she, fuck, she, she used to be, like, a total goth and shit or whatever, but she used to listen to stuff like hip-hop. Like, it doesn't mean you're opposed, it just means that you just don't want to listen to the stuff that everyone else that looked like you listen to. It's like, get, get the fuck over yourselves, you're not being original. Same with all those people who call, like, who call those people posers. It's like, they're not, they're not posers. They're just different. Poser would be someone who tries to fit into the stereotype. Okay, that's what a scenester actually originally means, but now it's turning to some kind of stupid label that like Kiki Cannibal started. Now everyone's all oh Kiki Cannibal, and now just because it's cool to hate Kiki Cannibal, people are hating Kiki Cannibal. It's like what the fuck? Like get over yourselves. Like have your own opinion for God's sake. Like stop listening to all those people who are around you and stop agreeing with them if you don't agree with them. It's not like they're gonna do anything just because you disagree, okay? Just because, like, why would you want to sound like everyone else? Honestly, I don't understand. Like, I would not want to be like everyone else. I have my opinions for all of these different things, okay? And I have my right to say what I, what, like, what I think of them, you know? Like, I have every right to believe in what I want to believe. In. For example, like, I don't believe, I don't believe that God is a man. But you can believe God is a man. I wouldn't give a shit. Okay? It's your opinion. Like, what? And I'm just getting so sick of it. And then it also started getting me think like the whole school thing. It get, it started like I started thinking about all those people going to my school. And I kinda realized how everyone is so fake and even me. It's like once you get into school, it's like a totally different world. You can't you can't like be something else. When you're in school, you're expected to act a different way. You have to plaster this fake smile on yourself. You have to you have to talk about all those shallow things people always talk about, like what you what you hear all those preppy kids talking about. Like, I'm not being stereotypical. It's just that a lot of people who are like, oh my god, look at my hair, I got it done. Blah, blah. It's like get the fuck over yourselves, okay? Like it's okay to talk about it once in a while, but like there's other things that are more important to talk about, you know? Like for example, like. People are always trying to make you aware, like the teachers are trying to make you aware of all the things that are going around in the world outside of school, but it's just not going to work. 
because everyone is lulling themselves into these false sense of securities because they can't deal with the like truth. They can't deal with the truth that like the fact that like life isn't perfect. If it's not perfect, just leave it alone, you know. But people always have to lie to themselves to get themselves to believe that life is perfect. Because if they don't, then they feel like there's a hole in their life, that there's a void, and that there's something wrong with that. But there's on honestly, you're being unrealistic if you're if you think your life is perfect or you're striving to be perfect because no one's perfect and life is perfect. that's why it's life that's why, that's why everyone is different that's why we go through all these problems and that's why if we do go through these problems then we learn from these mistakes and we learn the happiness and we learn the differences if you if if you didn't go through all those things and you just lived your life like a perfect life then you wouldn't know what is wrong and you wouldn't know what is happiness you wouldn't know all those things that we already know from what, what we learn when we grow up that's why it's growing up People need to just learn to accept the fact that life isn't perfect. If life isn't perfect, then you know, like, just deal with it. Like, I'm totally okay with the fact, like, with the fact that life isn't perfect for me. Like, I know that it's not perfect. Like, you can't always be the prettiest. You can't always be the smartest. You can't always be. You can't always be happy. You can't always be angry. You can't always be sad. It's just how life is. It's a roller coaster. It's like, it's just how it is. You just have to learn to accept it. It's like when you go into school. It's like, it's like. When you have all these problems at home, it's like you can't talk about it at school. At school, you're expected to act a certain way. If you don't act a certain way, then people immediately put a label on you. People immediately think, oh, there's something wrong with her. People immediately think you're attention or, or, like, or that there's something wrong with you. And then you have to act a certain way if you don't want people to talk shit about you. It's like, yeah, sure, you get sick of it, but you just need to get the fuck over it. Like, that's just how it is. And in high school, it's even worse because you can't be yourself. If you are, like even like I am myself at school, but I don't let myself like be angry if I'm angry. Like I don't I don't let my I don't let people get to me because I know that if I do, then people are always gonna be talking about it. People are always gonna be there talking shit just because you dress a certain way or because you act a certain way or you're offended by something. And that's life. That's how it is. People are always judging you, but no one understands that. It seems like whenever you talk to someone, it's like they talk about like they're sad about like the most like unimportant things in life, and it's like okay, sure, that's okay once in a while. But it's like you have to get the fuck over it, like, and you have to learn to move on. You can't wallow in your self pity. If you do, then nothing's gonna happen. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do? Just be like, oh, my life sucks. Oh, my life sucks, and keep complaining about it. How is that gonna help? You have to learn to do something. About like, you have to learn to take it. Just, you have to get over it. And it's like, no one wants to get over it. It's like, they all, want, they all want to believe in this lie that life is perfect. And it's just, it isn't. And that's why you appreciate certain things in life. If it isn't perfect, then let it be, okay? You can't strive to be perfect because you never will. You're never gonna be perfect. You're never gonna be pretty, you're never gonna be, you're, gonna, you're never gonna be pretty, smart, rich, famous, all those things, you're never gonna be what you always want to be, you're not gonna be everything you want to be, that's just how it is, you know, it's just like, okay, so what if you're a little ugly, so what if you're a little dumb, so what if you're a little, a little poor, or whatever, as long as you learn to accept that, and as long as you appreciate the things you have, then there should be nothing wrong with it. It's like no one understands that. It's like everyone takes everything for granted for no reason. Why would, why should you change like take something like life for granted for example? You know? Like I only realized how important life was and how like fragile something like that is until I lost something. And it's like when you when you realize that, it just hits you. But it's you really can't do anything about it because it's already gone. And that's just how life is. When you do, you can't, you don't really move on with your life. You just live your life past and you just can't do that. That's how, like, well, I learned just to move on. If something happens, then something happens. I'm not going to regret it. If I do that, then I'm going to be, like, I won't be the person I am right now. If I went back and embraced all the mistakes, then I wouldn't have learned anything. If I went back and I stopped everyone from, like, if I stop myself from hurting all these people, then I wouldn't know who my real friends were, or like what I was capable of, or like what hurts me. It's just how it is. It's like no one understands that. I don't. I don't understand why no one understands that. It's like people should stop living with such unrealistic standards. You know, like 
okay, you can become something big, but 